Hello, hello, hello. Let's make a painting. All right, as usual, water everywhere. Uh, let me see if I can level that up. Okay, that's good. Um, I think this is my second painting for today. Don't remember anymore. I'm losing track of it. Uh, but um, but uh, let's see what we can... Uh, I'll put a little bit of that purple here. Let's see what we're going to happen today. Um, my mouth is starting to get a little bit better. My teeth are a little bit better. So uh, I think I'm going to be able to talk a little bit better. Anyway, uh, let's put a little bit of this brown. Oh, something on my finger. Uh, we don't want to waste it. Okay, so for the sky, I'm going to take some of this purple and blue. Oh, I like this. Okay, so we're going to make a bunch of lines like this. And here, I'm going to blend them. Here, I'm going to help them blend a little bit. And here. So that's fine with me here. I'm going to take the brown-ish. And I will not even clean my brush. I don't know. Every time I use that, that color, uh, I feel like I want to make mountains. Every single time. Uh, including this time. I mean, look at this. Come on. It's crying for mountains. Look at this on the background. So the background is going to be very light. So uh, I'm going to clean my brush pretty well. And I'm going to repeat that thing. This this brown is, is this such a cool color. It's uh, leaving some kind of yellow-ish. I don't know how it's cool. Uh, I don't know. I'm terrible. It's this one. Uh, but it's leaving such a cool color. Uh, the color is very vibrant, and uh, after that is some kind of yellowish. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it's very cool. I, I really enjoy working with this one. Uh, here I'm going to put a little bit more brown. A little bit of black. Now try to make some kind of different movements here different reflections different texture different everything here on the foreground on the background i want to kind of blend it with the rest of it uh here usually i don't use this brush for that kind of stuff but here i'm gonna do this um, and by doing uh, a little bit darker area above that i'm gonna make this one lighter and that's going to help me uh, to separate the the mid ground the mid ground uh, mountain that, that's it the mid ground mountain with the background uh, mountains a little bit here not too much i'm going to just clean my brush here cuz i have so much uh, paint on it i'm going to clean the brush pretty well again Usually I use this flat brush for uh, removing paint, not adding paint. But in that case, I will just... Now I'm going to blend it, of course. This is one of the few times I want to force blending. Mm, generally, um, I'm more of a let it, let it happen. But this time I need to kind of control a little bit. So we can have the mountains here. There we go. And again here, clean my brush again. Try to blend it. Here I'm gonna make heavy strokes so I can go down. Uh huh. I don't know. I feel like when I'm making the mountains, uh, I always feel it should be more calm down, more loose, nothing too busy. Uh, now, of course, I'm going to remove some of the paint from here. Now, I want to take some of the blue and some of the orange here, uh, and the purple here and do the same thing I did here, but this time I'm going to do it with the sky. And by doing so, I'm going to make it uh, more contrasty so we can see better the mountains. There we go. And, of course, here I'm just going to kind of... 
kind of blend it. See? And I will let it blend now. Uh, let it uh, develop. But these lines, I will continue them uh, for a little bit smoother appears, um, appearance. But uh, this is good. Uh, here, I'm going to remove some of the paint. Clean the brush. Remove some of the paint. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, I feel like this color is made for either dunes or uh, like desert or mountains. I feel like this color exists for that. Uh, th this is very cool color, man. Well, not for that, of course. I'm just... Uh, overreacting. But uh, this one is just gorgeous, gorgeous color. And remove, you know. Keep going here. Look at this mountain. Man. Okay, maybe there. Now, of course, we don't want to overdo it. Should we put a little bit of snow? Why not? Why not a little bit of snow? I will take some of the white wash. And I will try to make that brush very let's see if we can do it uh, there we go. a little bit of water we don't want to like overdo it okay a little bit of heavy strokes here and there i'm not pushing too much i'm making them big strokes but not too much i'm not i'm just making them big I'm, I'm not pushing hard. Okay. Once we have this, I'm going to clean my brush. Uh, white wash is terrible to clean. I'm telling you. It's not fun to clean the white wash. Um, and now, I want some of this brown again and some of this black. And there we go. And now, I'm next to the, almost on the top of it, uh, of the white wash, I'm gonna put this. Uh, the reason for that is, first is gonna create a high contrast, and second, it will help me blend a little bit, so it's not so obvious what's going on. Here is very, very gentle here, by the way. This is very light areas. So it doesn't need to be that harsh with it. Maybe, you know what, maybe it's a good time to make some edges. I know I start putting a lot of details now. Uh, I really don't want to go that way. I, I prefer to keep a little bit more, uh, um, more, more abstract, more, uh, I really prefer that. All right, I'm start putting a lot of details, so that's fine. Clean the brush, of course. And finally, we're gonna use these rocks that we just create for some texture with the palette knife. There we go. Watercolor, abstract landscape.